I think that's probably safer. Morning, people. They're moving the middle shed group, which is next door to here, down to the opposite end of their shed, because that's where their feeder is. Um, we haven't been using their feeder this year so far because we wanted to put it in the middle of the shed and then split the bulls and heifers apart. Um, but that required some building work. That was hopefully going to be done before Christmas. Uh, it didn't happen. Um, and due to COVID, it's not going to be happening now for some time. So we're not recording any data at the moment on the green feed, which is a bit of a shame and they would quite like to be. So we're going to move the cattle to the feeder. But in order to do that, I need one of these posts. So I'm in the green shed. I'm going to clean out the dung up to this post and put it in the midden and mix it in with the slurry, which will be a good job then anyway. I'm then going to take the post, put it in the hole in the brown shed where I need it, and then bed it all up, move them down. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to actually move them. I'm going to leave it ready so that in the morning when Phil's here, he can feed them down there, because otherwise I'll have to move all their feed and it'll just be hard work. So we'll get it ready so that in the morning Phil can feed them there. And uh, well, let's get to it. I don't know what it is with the posts over here, but they do not like coming out the ground. Right out their slot holes. I had to put the bucket on the side of this one and pull them out. I know a lot of people said on the last video when I was here, perhaps grease them when you put them in the hole. Very good idea. I haven't got any grease. Well, I've got some grease actually. I might put some grease on this one before I put it in this new hole. Very good idea. I'm going to load it in the bucket, take it around to its new home, and uh, we'll do just that. We'll get the grease gun. You might be able to hear that the handler's revving quite high. So that is because um, this Manitou handler we got, it was new here in the spring. It's got three hydraulic modes and uh, they are dynamic, comfort, and dynamic plus. And if you're doing anything in anger, like cleaning out, like I am at the minute, I'll stick it in dynamic plus. It just makes all your hydraulic functions that much quicker without having to rev. I've got the pole grease on the bottom, on each side. It just does not want to go in the hole. Um, I'm not really sure why. I think the sides of the hole are slightly crimped in. Turn that off a bit. I've got a persuader. I don't know whether I can round the edges of the hole off a bit or do a similar thing to the post. Let's give that a try. Well, that sort of worked. Got the post in the hole there now. Hopefully, with a little bit of persuasion. <laughs> He's in! 
So whoever it was that suggested doing that with the grease, thank you very much. Uh, do I shut these or not? Because... No. I might as well just run the cattle. Well, I'm not even going to run the cattle. They'll drink straight from there into here tomorrow. And uh, job will be a good one. So Phil can do that. Let's move board. Right, so now we need to put some straw in here, so we'll bed it up. It's pretty well lunchtime now anyway, so I'll um, feed the bulls quickly a minute and then I'll come and bed them up after lunch. Right, we'll bed this pen up a minute. And then uh, we've got a few other jobs here. I've taken most of the muck out of the pen that I nicked the post from. Um, but I want to do the bedding and then I want to move all the silage sheet tiles, you know, the rubber tiles, um, off the side walls that I've been stacking up before I do anything else, because that's the two main jobs I came to do. I chucked in a load of straw there, probably twice what I normally would, but just because it's going onto bare concrete, um, it never sort of stays where you want it to the first time, there's nothing for it to stick against. So I put a bit more in, just shake this off the gates. I've got to sort out these drinking troughs as well because they haven't been used this year. So um, they've got a bung on the bottom there. So I'll turn the supply off, empty them out, give them a clean, and fill them back up, ready for tomorrow. Paolo's got the green feed working, which is good. I'm, uh, I'm just not happy with this post. It's gone in there solid now as well, which is annoying. I'm wondering whether I give it the treatment I gave the other one. If I pull it back out again and make the hole better around the bottom, it might go in there. So I might do that. I think the hole's just bunked. Solid. Something to dig that out with. Right, it's in the ground better than it was. I reckon with a nudge that'll go in now. I think it was just blocked, to be honest. Um, which is a bit annoying that I didn't see that at first. But um, it's not actually the right way round. If it was the right way round, the gates would be able to latch to it, but they won't be using the gates, so it makes no odds. I just wanted to put a post in there to avoid an animal putting its leg in there because that ends in tears so I'll give it a little nudge with the bucket it's only got to go another foot or so and then um, next job will be taking the tiles off the pit so I thought I'd just show you around the Manitou before we do a lot else this is a um, 635 130 so off the top of my head I think that means we can lift three and a half ton to six meters um, if anyone can tell me what the 130, that might be the horsepower, 130 possibly. And then I think PS stands for power shift. But don't quote me because I don't know. It's got a six speed gearbox, one to six. You can put it in auto, it will change automatically if you want it to. Um, but I just find it changes at the wrong time all the time. So um, normally just press a little plus button to go up through the gears. It's got a really handy feature on the side here for releasing the pressure um, on the pipes, um, which is good. You just hold down the button and pressure will release. It's got a tap there that changes um, the oil flow at the minute. It's on the locking pins, the headstock. So can I reach? If you were to turn that like that, that locks it so I can't undo these pins now until I turn that tap back. Um, and it's in that position for third service. If you've got a grab on or something. Inside the cab here, you've got the joystick that they've had for a while now with the palm grip. Um, we've got the boom and the third service or the locking pins on the side there on the thumb wheels see them forward and reverse on that one the gears are on the top here plus and minus um, and then there is a button on the back behind 
for when you want to use the pickup hitch. Got a load of miscellaneous buttons down here. Um, boom suspension, you can turn the, um, you can lock the boom when you're going down the road if you want to. Hazards, um, beacon, and then as I said earlier, it's got the hydraulic mode. So you go into your settings, little scroll wheel which will control settings on the dashboard um, to change like your hydraulic settings or anything else that's on there. Emergency stop button. This is the button if you want to put it into automatic. Just press that one and um, that'll go into auto. You use these two for when you want to put a trailer on. You send the oil to the back to use the pickup hitch and also the rear oil flow. It's got um, spools on the back. Um, but most of the time it's in this one so that the oil goes to the front to uh, whatever implement you got on. The reversing fan there, it does it automatically or you can do it yourself. And then you've got the aircon over here. There's not a lot to it, but it's really handy, really good machine. I really like it. Plenty of power for what we want anyway. I like the tyres as well, they're sort of a uh, hybrid between an industrial and an agricultural tyre. Anyway, the next job here isn't going to be particularly interesting for me, nor is it going to be particularly interesting for you guys to watch. So we'll go for the quick route of three, two, one. Yes. That is so much quicker. Why don't I just do that for everything? Right, there's one load. Put all those along the wall. Oh, there's loads of them. Another pile there, look. Another pallet. Perhaps I'll do these ones today. Oh, we'll see, do those another time. So I've just had a uh, slight sense of humour failure. Whoever designed these holes in front of the silage pits. Oh, I'm about done over here for the day, so I'm just gonna push the feed up with the pusher. Uh, and then I'll take the pallet forks and the bucket home with me. So, uh, get to that. Guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please be sure give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I am working on getting some merchandise if that's something that people would be interested in. But uh, it's still a work in progress. Thanks for watching. New videos Wednesdays, Sundays, 9am. Uh, you can check out all the links in the description to follow me on various social medias. And uh, see you guys in another video very soon. Cheerio!